Alright guys, so I know I haven't put out a video like this in a minute, but I've been getting asked a few times here and there about Facebook ads. You know, people will make a post in the group, you know, I'm trying to run Facebook ads, but they're not working. You know, how do I do my targeting? Where should I set my budget? That's all important. You know, your targeting is important, but one thing I feel like a lot of people seem to miss is that in order for your ad to work effectively, your ad actually has to be a good ad. It has to be something that captures attention, something that, you know, somebody when they're scrolling through Facebook and they're there in that passive state of mind, something that hooks their attention just enough to where you get their attention. And now, you know, in the copy of your your um, your ad, you can explain to them what it is that you do, the service that you offer, and you can convince them to fill out a form and um, become a lead or send you a message or visit your website and give you a call. So a lot of people seem to overlook the importance of the actual ad so I wanted to make this video to hopefully help some of you out I'm gonna give this one away that you that you see on my screen completely free um, I'm gonna give you access to the actual template I just spent probably 15 minutes building this out I'm gonna give you access and in this video I'm going to show you how to change out the before and after maybe you wanna have your own before and after images in here and uh, of course you would obviously want to have your own logo right here as well um, and then maybe you want to change um, you know instead of does your house need a bath maybe you change it to dirty house question mark I'm a big fan of asking a question there though because anytime you pose a question um, our minds anytime we we um, are asked a question our mind will automatically formulate an answer whether we're conscious of it or not and a lot of people are not conscious of it but your mind will automatically form uh, an answer and if the person knows that their house is dirty by asking does your house need a bath or is your house dirty or does your house have green algae that's why I'm a big fan of the whole asking a question because it forms that mental image in their mind is like oh my house is dirty and um, so that's where I'm coming from with the whole question but of course you can change this out if you want you know if you want this to say whatever you want it to say you just go in there and you know change it out right so like I said I'm gonna give you access to the template um, but once you click on the template link, you can do this on a mobile phone. Of course, you can do it on a mobile phone. It's a pain in the butt. I recommend having a laptop or a computer or something. But if you're in a pinch, if you don't have one, then yeah, you can use a mobile phone for this as well. But you do need to download the Canva app, which is free. Um, but they do have a paid version. I'm on, I'm on the paid version just because I use it so much. And there are some features that are nice about it, but you really don't need it. So let's say you have your own before and after image you want to throw in there. Uh, let's go see if I can find one right you would just click on this one drag it over and honestly it might not let us um, in this case but what you do is just make it real big like you're seeing right here just make it cover all the way to that blue line and boom now it's touching the blue line now just pull it down a little bit get that money shot right click send it back okay now this image you're just gonna delete it and now you got that image in there now this image we're gonna pull it over a little bit and we're gonna do the same thing with this image now that one did what we wanted it to do that one just directly replaced it so now you're just gonna pull this one down and there you go you could kind of even do the same thing honestly if you wanted to Oops. Okay, it's shrinking the whole box. It's not what we want. Extend that up. Make this a little bit smaller. Extend it out a little bit. I'll just come down here, right click, and pull it out. All right, now we're just going to drag that down until it fits. And there you go. Now we're just going to drag that border back up. This one right here. 
here of course it's selecting the clouds I'm just going to go ahead and pull that up I'm going to drag the clouds into position and there you go now we just changed out the before and after image now that's your image right maybe you want it to be brick you want it to be whatever you want it to be um, uh, you can use your own image now same thing with your logo you just cancel this logo out it's important that you have a PNG file so that it's not and I'll show you an example of what you don't want it to be here um, when I come over here to my folders and we click on logos this is what you don't want it to be you don't want it to be you don't want it to have this white background it just looks bad but I mean if you have the paid version of Canva which I have you can just go background remover give it a couple seconds and there you go removes the background now of course this is blue so if it blends right in so you'd obviously want to change that uh, that's kind of why I didn't use that logo anyways I went with my other logo but um, yeah guys this is pretty much how you do it um, like I said this is a tutorial video there'll be a link in the description or in the comments with the actual link to the template which you can go in utilize and uh, yeah guys hopefully this helps and if you have any questions just let me know have a good one